Hello, this is Creative You Yarn Podcast with Sharon and Catherine. We're out of Pennsylvania, and this is the last day for the Mirasol Trunk Show. And we wanted to make sure that you saw all these beautiful items. So these items are from Knitting Fever, and they focused on four different yarns. Llama Lace, which is a Queensland um yarn it's a lace weight yarn the colors are beautiful mm -hmm. they have a lot of neutrals too like browns and uh, tans and yumina which is a they say an errand weight but to me it seems kind of thin it is a beautiful yarn for garments it is 50 percent alpaca Royal alpaca. So I read that only 1% of alpaca gets to be royal alpaca and extra fine merino. So when they say extra fine, they're not talking about tiny. They're talking about luxurious, top of the line. And then Perth, which is a sock weight yarn that comes in all kinds of colors and so on with the show and I'll show you some and Sharon can show you some um, they did send some dungarees tweed which unfortunately I don't have that yarn in, in my store yet I have the DK weight so this is a top with the split hem and there's the pattern it's called the Eleanor Sweater. You can check out these patterns on KnittingFever.com. And this looks like it would feel great on, doesn't it feel wonderful? Mm, you know, a lot of times great. people come into the shop and they want to knit for people in warm climates. And this would be the type of yarn you'd want to use. This is from Recycled Jeans, Recycled dungarees they used to call my husband's from the era where they uh called jeans dungarees and he always rolls up his <laughs> dungarees <laughs> and now that that's back in style he's like well you see which one do you want to do next i have the vest or the yeah the polar okay vest. do you want to show it and i'll find it uh, so it is a sunny day here. We've had some snow. We've had some ice. Oh, here it is. But today is sunny. So this is also dungarees tweeds, a very beautiful pattern, almost like a upside down shell. It does have some flare. That's pretty. And it is called Luma Top. Luma. Luma Top. Luma always thought how you can come up with all these creative names that no one else has used it has to be a little bit difficult okay what's next the that. capelet mm -hmm. which is here if you want to explain them I think you're better explaining. Oh, <laughs> now be your sword. <laughs> poncho cape, and this this again is the same lightweight wow. type cotton, and it looks like it's made in one piece and seamed together. But what I like is you have the horizontal and the diagonal together, which is really neat, and then all one. And then the cow. Yeah, and then you can have the little cow with it. Oh, that feels so nice. Oh, spring and summer, here we come. <laughs> so there's Very the pretty. pattern. Very pretty. Mariah. Mariah. Okay. And do we have this one while well, we're on the dungarees tweed? This is really, really cute. I had this before during a trunk show and I really liked it. It's a nice little short sleeved long top. It has pockets. Yep, it has pockets. And there's lots of different colors. It's 
called the Jocelyn. Jocelyn Long Vest. Right. Okay. We're trying trying to hope that <laughs> customers don't come in and we can get through this. Now the Yumina. Uh, do we have that? Yes. This one. Well, or I have. Oh yes. Whichever one you want. Yeah, that's do. fine. The sweater. My <laughs> husband tried this sweater on. He said it feels a great. I posted it on my Facebook page, Creative View, and I have to tell him I got a note saying it's gotten more than 95% of my usual post. <laughs> he didn't want to take it off. He's wondering when I'm going to make him one. <laughs> I'd be wondering the same oh, thing. <laughs> and there it is. He is just starting to discover that I could really make him some nice things. He kind of took him a long time to kind of figure that out. <laughs> and now all of a sudden he's asking for things. Okay. Like this one we have. So. Oh yeah, there I'm we sure go. Like well, this. from over here it looked like a vet. I, oh. This is my favorite, like a little baseball top. It has a garter stitch pattern in the back. It has this nice little curved bottom so and then soft. a lacy cable in the front. Oh, I just love it. And then like a double seed stitch here with a garter. Oh, I just think this is gorgeous. I want to make one. And there it is on the flyer. And it just says Yumina M5142 cabled sweater. Wow. Yep, love it. Okay. And I, I, there's so many features of it I like. I like the little holes that go down both sides. Oh, you know, people say when they make a sweater they love, they don't want to take it off. I think that's how I would be with that. that one. I don't hear patterns. Okay. This is also Yumina number MR4 up oh, M5182. But I also like this a lot. It has two different cables on the front. It's sleeveless. And uh just looks so comfortable. These garments are so lightweight. And that's what I find with soft. really nice yarns. They're they're soft and lightweight, not at all heavy. We do have that one. Okay. And then this is a heavier one, but it has the the cabled sleeves. And um, wow, isn't that just gorgeous? There we go. You can see the stitches. Also, the Mirasol yarns help to support the schools in Peru. You can see the back. So that is M5225. It's always a sad, sad day when I have to ship them back, and today is that <laughs> day. A lot of people don't understand what a trunk show is. They think they're going to see a trunk, maybe. I don't know. I had it all set up, and a lady said, well, where is it? It's right, all right here. <laughs> oh, I love this, too. That's one of my favorites, Oh, wow, too. that's M5181. And it, again, it is just so soft. There's the ribbing. And then a long, wide band that looks like maybe, I can't tell if it's knitted on or if, but it's just gorgeous. It's very, it's very, oh. Okay, what's next? We have the done. Perth. Mm -hmm. Okay, the Perth sweater. And this color is just lovely. Neutrals, maybe a hint of like a purplish gray, and like a crew neck. Nice little pattern where the sleeves come in. Very 
drapey and springy. It's called the Eleonora sweater. Oh, the other one was Ele Eleanor? One was Ellen. Well, anyway, this is E L A N, Eleonora sweater. Wow. That is just so nice. We also have a scarf with the original. Oh, I guess we'll do that one next with the original Perth colors. Now, since that this they haven't discontinued any that I know of, but they have added some new colors. That one's Alice Springs. I've seen this with the Alaskan hat pattern. It's just gorgeous. And they are all named after places in Australia. Kings Canyon, and some of the newer colors, um, Pink Lake is a new color, and Swan Hill is a new color, but I love Pretty. all the colors. There aren't this any that, oh yeah, the, the Bluebell, the Royal Bluebell, Sharon was saying that's one of her favorite colors. And this is what the sweater is done in. Port Pyre. Oh, nice. There's also Great Sandy. This one is King's Canyon. This is the one that they did then. Um, right, that's Sam the one knitted. that Sharon knitted the um, Perth cow out of this color. They also sent one that they made. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Can we it? <laughs> and it is from the darker portion. Here it is. Wow. It's from the darker portion of the yarn because you didn't use anywhere near the mm -hmm. hole. No. no. Um, and it is amazing that that is the same color, but it is. And then I also love these two colors. I've oh, seen shawls. Great. This is Wine Glass Bay. And this one is Palm Cove. But yeah, just pr so pretty. pretty. Okay, so we want to make sure we don't send ours back. <laughs> And this is also made out of Perth. It's a side-to-side -side shawl with a lacy bottom. Mm -hmm. Clarisse wrap. Cl Clarisse wrap. And very pretty with a, show with a shawl kind of worn off to the side. Very you, pretty. Oh, yes. I think it's gorgeous. You can also order kits. Uh, kits for Knitting Fever, uh, and just use our shop's name, and some of you have, and I'd like to thank you for that. Okay, the Mirasol, this is Yumina uh, shawl. This shawl has great drape. I've uh, seen this shawl before. It just sits on your shoulders great and hangs down. Yeah, very pretty has this nice little kind of bobble pattern. Yeah. Very pretty. That's number 5269 Maya Shawl. There we go. Hi there. Go ahead, Sharon. I have some okay. things. Okay, oh, there's you a, come back for them? a couple oh, other sure. pieces that we have here. Sure. Very uh, nice. This is the Queen's Collection Lama Lace. Uh, it's the uh, long shawl. Very soft. Very pretty. And detailed knit. You can see how long it is just by draping a couple times. <laughs> Be very warm in the winter or just a nice. Uh, shawl to drape around and stay warm. Um, that's from the Queensland coll collection as well. Uh, the close-up pattern. I don't. Maybe you can see it 
more clearly on the pattern than the shawl itself. But very pretty and very drapey. So do you so have soft. a favorite? Oh my, it would be hard for me to tell. <laughs> to tell. I love that. I love the white one. That I oh, think we haven't shown, shown that, yet. that yet. Oh, That's one of my favorites. Gail, one of our customers, came in. I mean, this just feels so lightweight, and yet it's warm. And she bought an extra skein so that she can make it one pattern repeat longer and make more of a shawl. This is... That's gorgeous. Feather and Fan... Beautiful wrap. And there's also a cow. There's a cow. And there's a capelet. Yeah, isn't that cute? Those are one of the things. I would just put that on and not want to take it off. Right. <laughs> it's Aww. just so soft and cozy. Wear but it not to heavy. Bed, right? Yes. Wear it to bed. <laughs> yes. And she has that. And then there was a scarf oh. that had the pockets. Oh, this is wonderful, too. This would take a while to make, but wow. Gorgeous. This is a beautiful, yeah, Sharon's right, gorgeous scarf done in a slate color has the pockets, these beautiful cables, nice and long so you could double wrap it. Yep, and there's the pattern called the Andy Pocket Shawl. I think that's the other two. I don't believe we have. We don't have a pattern, I don't believe. And there's some one. of these we don't have patterns for. This is made out of llama lace. Pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? That's gorgeous pattern. And again, it's just so lightweight. But I can tell you that even though things are light, they are so warm. Mm -hmm. And a beautiful cow pattern. I think this would be easy because I have a feeling it's just a four or five row repeat. And... When people aren't used to natural fibers and they'll say, oh, look how hairy that yarn is. <laughs> it makes me laugh because it's, uh, oh, this is nice and, and long. One time I gave my granddaughter some mittens and she said, Grandma, we, we shrank them as soon as we got them. And I was just wondering, like, why they washed them right away. And she said, Grandma, they were all full of cat hair. <laughs> well, it wasn't cat hair. It was just the natural fiber. And there is a sweater, also from Llama Lace. And that is not tagged. So let me see here. Oh, Anita. Anita Jumper by Joe Alport. There we go. And the sleeves are decorative. Hmm, they're pretty they're on the front. They are on the front. Uh-huh. This one, this shawl is Marin oh, Marin wrap? Huh. I thought the Marin wrap was the Perth one. I must be wrong. So and then I wanted to show you what Sharon is wearing. Do you want to show, oh. show them your mic? It's Cairns Queensland or Queensland yarn. It's it is such an easy knit. It's all knit, and you're increasing. I believe on each end as you knit. It's just. I love the drape of it, and it's just such a fun project to do. It's, yeah, it's a free pattern, I think, called Glorious Day. Yes. And Karen's yarn is a flat, like, tape construction, they call it. It's so fun to knit with. It's a cotton blend, and we've made, we're, I think we're going to end up with a scarf in every color. <laughs> Uh, this is one of the newer colors, Port Lincoln, oh, I that I love and that it's so fun when you bind this off, and this all comes off your needles, and then this is one of the blue-purple colors. I'm doing one right now in one of the new colors called Cradle Mountain, which is this one, 
and it really keeps you going because your colors are constantly changing. This is the Outback. So pretty for fall. It's a good project for beginner. Boy, it sure doesn't show the bright oranges, does no, it? Because no. it's a very bright orange and bright blues. Great gift, too, and it's it's quick to make. Yep, I, I forget, forget the, the name that of is. that color. I don't know if it might be Swan Lake. I'm not sure, but really fun. So we got through without too many interruptions, the mailman, <laughs> but oh well. We hope that you enjoyed seeing everything. We'd love to know what your favorite was. Leave a comment and we'll see you soon. Here comes a customer. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs> <Bye> <laughs>